So here's my own 5500 uh, generator. It's in a Winnebago 37G. I had some trouble with it. This is twice I've had this problem. And uh, what's happened is it, it just quit running. I tried to restart. It wouldn't restart. Acted like it wasn't, uh, wasn't, acted like, kind of like it was seized up. So I ended up unhooking everything, starting with the wiring here on the uh, the battery <clears throat> wiring that comes in. I unhooked that. I had to unhook the exhaust, the fuel pump lines. I unhooked all the uh, electrical from the automatic transfer switch and just disconnected that and so that when I dropped the generator that was unhooked from from there versus uh, from the generator. It was much easier to do from the transfer switch. <clears throat> then once I finally got everything unhooked I had to take wood and put it underneath the generator and I had to drop the generator of just a little bit at a time to get it out of my camper. Here you can see I'm taking it out of my camper and uh, getting it ready to take apart. <clears throat> so this is what happened. If you look on the bottom, you could see the flywheel for the motor, and then you could see the pulley to the left for the stator, the part that actually uh, produces the electricity. And this is what happened. I take the pulley off for the stator in the bearing there on the bottom of the stator where the pulley for the belt is, disintegrated and actually came apart. Luckily, the only damage done was to just the uh, just the the bearing. I was able to get a new bearing. Here you could see the um, <clears throat> the stator out of the uh, encasement for the generator, and you could see that part of the bearing is still on the uh, the stator there. <clears throat> Here's the outside part of the bearing that I <clears throat> that fell off when I took the uh, took the stator out. <clears throat> this is a new bearing that I put in. The number on that is uh, 6205-2RS1. And that was uh, the replacement bearing that I had to get. The bearings cost me probably around $20 a, a piece. And there's two of them on there. So I figured since I had the, state, the generator out of the motor home and I had the stator out, I'd go ahead and replace both the, uh, both the bearings. Here you can see the stator. I have both the uh, the new bearings back on the uh, stator, getting ready to reinstall it in the generator. Went ahead and reinstalled everything. Uh, went, I put the stator in the generator, reinstalled it back into the motorhome, and once I got everything done, it fired right up and worked just like nothing ever happened. So I was happy with that. You know, it was it was a lot of time. It took me a couple of days probably to do the job. But all in all, it worked out good. It cost me about $40, $50 in parts. But uh, luckily, it wasn't the engine. So, And, and this has happened to me twice now. One, uh, once I was, uh, <clears throat> I was on a trip where I had electricity, so I was able to plug in when I got there, which was nice. And... I just ended up driving home and fixing it when I got home. It was pretty hot. You know, I'm in Florida, so summers in Florida, you really need the generator because you got to keep the AC going to keep the motorhome cool in the summertime. So I use my generator quite a bit. Basically, every time I go someplace, I use my generator. The second time it happened to me, I was on a two-week camping trip. I got there, and it was about uh, a day or two into the trip. And I started hearing a, a very bad noise. I'm like, what is that? And I'm thinking, oh my God, it's the, the generator. Actually, a couple of the ball bearings from the from the um, bearing actually came out and flew out of the out of the generator. I shut it down, uh, took it out of the camper, and sure enough, that was the second time it happened to me. So, if you're having trouble with your generator, this may be the problem. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them.